the mission, our mission. It reminds you of a film I saw years ago called The Mission. Quite a sad film, actually. Have you seen that film, The Mission? What is our mission in life? I see two unbalanced scenarios here. I see ex-JWs, ex-Jehovah's Witnesses like I was for 40 years nearly. All they do is attack the watchtower. They're consumed with doing videos on YouTube. All they do is videos against the watchtower. Then I see Trinitarians, sorry, ex-Trinitarians, I should say. All they do is do videos against the Trinity. So you've got two unbalanced equations here. People who are consumed in attacking the Watchtower 24-7 and ex-Trinitarians doing videos against the Trinity. So what is our mission? Shouldn't it be, as Messiah said, to bring people to him? See, these are mouse holes, they're rat traps. We can get so consumed with justice and uh, exposing lies that we lose the main plot. Our job, our mission, is to tell people what the Messiah told people about the kingdom. What is the kingdom? Quite simple. It's the realm of God. What's the realm of God? The world to come. Hebrews chapter 2 tells us about the world to come. It's not the angels the Father has subjected the world to come, the Akomenai in Greek, the Olam Haba in Hebrew, but to a man who is now glorified. This man, Mashiach, is now coming back to the earth soon and will put an end to all the woes and worries on this earth. Are we focused on the kingdom? That's our mission, to bring people to the truth of the kingdom. Messiah said, I must go to other cities because people said, stay here, stay here. He said, no, I've got to go to other cities and proclaim the good news of the kingdom. You've got people that say, well, it's just something within you, you know, something, it's just something within you. No, it's not. The kingdom is a reality. Daniel 7 says about the resurrected Messiah, someone like a son of man was brought to the presence of the ancient of days, that's the Father, and to him was given dominion, kingdom, that the people's national groups should all serve even him. His kingdom is everlasting kingdom. This earth, one day, will be re renewed back to the garden Eden if not that means Satan has defeated the father this jerk rebel angel well, I shouldn't call him a jerk because he's king of the world right um, is going to be put into prison for a thousand years Revelation tells us this and then the earth will be restored and then he'll be released at the end of the thousand years and believe it or not many of mankind will then be enticed to follow him that's down the road we haven't got to worry about that our mission is to tell people the good news of the kingdom we're not here to debate doctrines I've done my fair share of that finished I'm done with that I'm done with debating with people about the Trinity, etc. I've got enough playlists on my YouTube channel that exposes these lies, but my focus now is bringing people to the Messiah and to the reality of what he preached, the good news of the kingdom of God, the realm of God, which will restore this earth to its natural intended state. Can you see yourself there folks? In this paradise on earth, no money worries, you wake up every morning and the birds happy, <coughs> you can't wait for another day to begin, full of energy and life, vibrating. And then the 
pièce de résistance. You see the dead rising from the graves, your relatives and mine, and you're there to help them, to educate them, to bring them to the Father. Because when they wake up, they're going to need education, aren't they? So, our mission is onefold, and only one, to preach and teach the good news of the kingdom, the glorious age to come. Matthew 5, verse 5, the Messiah said to the audience, that's men, women and children, on the Sermon on the Mount, the meek shall inherit the earth. Sure. 